Introducing Pinwheel Necromancer of the Catacombs. Ladies and gentlemen, Noisy Boy here, and I'm back with some more Dark Souls Remastered. And we're going to be picking up from exactly where we left off. But before we get started, guys, remember if you're liking my series so far, remember to smash the like button and support my channel. And if you're new, feel free to subscribe because I love to hear feedback and your comments in the comments section below. Now, if you missed the last episode, we took out the Capra Demon and the Gaping Dragon, which is pretty damn good. I wasn't actually sure if I could beat the Gaping Dragon at this level. But we are still in the depths, so I'll show you guys how to get out of here. Just watch out for those guys up top, I usually just stay to the left side for now. Pick up this idiot as well. Turn left up here, I usually just stay to the left side most of the time, just so nothing else goes wrong. Now that's a trap. I wonder if I can actually... Yes, you can. Pick up that. I'll let him drown his sorrows and missing me. Head on up here. Open this door. And we are back to where we fought the butcher. And all of his merry men. And if you come around here, this is where we fought that uh, butcher that was trying to ambush us. And this is where we rescued the pyro bro. So before we carry on, there's a dog and all of his mates down here, so we want to try and take these guys out. So we'll try and lead one of them up here at least. And he's going to be difficult. Very difficult. Take that, you bastard. <laughs> Pretty sure there are two more dogs down here. Just love it how you can't quite target him from there. Now if you guys missed the last episode, you can actually... Oh, come on, get him. Where did that other dog go? Okay, maybe he doesn't want to play today. Oh, his loss, I guess. Oh. That's your bastard guy. We're actually coming up behind all these guys, so they're not expecting us to be coming So. Another broken great straight sword. It's probably like, oh, we got him, boys, we got him. Not today. So, yeah, a lot of uh, shit we could have uh, actually got him. I was kind of hoping I could do that. And two. And there is one more. There was one more. Not quite sure where he left. Now if you guys remember this place, we actually came through here before. And we are back here, so voila. And if you guys remember last time, we actually unlocked ourselves a bit of a cave up here, a bit of an entranceway to the uh, female merchant. And that actually leads us straight back to filing so. As you guys can remember, there she is. Not gonna buy anything from her right now because I need to buy an actual um need to buy and grab something else first. So we'll head through here, 
and you guys will probably be able to recognize this once we come through, so... There is our beloved rat. Take him out so he doesn't get me from behind. Oh shit. Watch out for old mate. Take out that guy as well. Actually, did I... Did he drop something? I think he did. Oh, he did. He dropped the humanity. Good for us. Haha. <laughs> nice. Uh, okay, come down here. Oh, he dropped something too. Put him down. He dropped two fire bombs. Nice. It's like I was saying before, we're coming up behind everyone. No one suspects shit. No oh, way, everyone's dropping something these days. He dropped a good old straight sword. Take him out. I reckon we can go talk to him now. Uh, if I can make this jump, hope I don't die. Ooh, ooh, almost died. So if you come over to here, we'll pick up that item as well that's over here. But this guy actually, when you kill a boss, you can actually buy his armor from this guy. Let's chat him real quick. I'm Donald of Zena. I'm just well, a peddler of sorts. I adore trinkets and oddities, so I trade for them. All right. Hmm. I'm afraid I don't see anything. So if you need gold pine resin, here's the place to get any sales are pretty cheap too. Uh, the master key if you want it for 5,000 souls, which I highly recommend getting if you don't have it. And these are his crystal weapons. I don't recommend you guys buying them. They are strong, but they break easy and they do not be f they, sorry, they can't be fixed. He has all the standard arrows, which are pretty sweet, and obviously his armor as well. Well, that is a shame then, but no matter. No, not to worry. Come back again. I'm always available. Not every trade was met. There'll be more. Okay, man. Um, so yeah, we will be coming back here later on to pick up a few um, boss items later on. Just be careful of that jump, for God's sakes, man. All right. And voila, back to Firelink Shrine. Talk to Craig oh, real quick. I regret meeting you under such compromising circumstances. At least we both made it back unscathed. Incidentally, would you care to learn any sorceries? You're clearly talented, and besides, I owe you. Of course, we will require some materials, but I am happy to teach you some elementary spells. Are you interested? Of course. Splendid. Very well. I am pleased to have a chance to give something back. Well then, let's get started straight away. Now he has some pretty good stuff too. Um, obviously a catalyst if you need it. And he also has these two very good rings, but especially the Bellowing Dragon Crest Ring, which boosts our sources, which we will get later on. But for now, we want to buy Fall Control, because we're going to need that in the upcoming uh, episodes. All right. That'll, that should help. May we meet it? And also, Sunbro. Well, I see you made it out. Yeah, I, I made it out safely too. I have my pyromancy of the Great Swamp, so I can use humanity with a bit of care. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, I can share my spells with you. I think you have a knack for it. All you need are the materials. I'll be pleased to help you. Ah, uh, unless you find the magics unsavory? No. Yeah, wonderful. I'm sure that you know, they'll be of some use, some assistance. Here, first take this. And Shazam, we have the pyromancy from flame. The great swamp. Now you're a fully fledged pyromancer. Why, well, let's get started right now. So, as you can see, we got that. Um, if you do have the souls, um, if anything, I do recommend you guys uh, buying a flash sweat for now. You don't have to. I'm just saying we will need it later on, but I mean, way later on. I'm going to buy it now just so that I can get rid of my souls. Uh, combustion. Don't really need that. But can we modify it? We can. So like I said before, this is just another way for us to get rid of our souls. Like I said before, we don't really have to. I just don't like walking around with a lot of souls. Goodbye then. And we're also going up Frampt and talk to him just yet. 
we will have a chat to this guy. Um, now this is totally up to you if you want to do it. You don't have to, but I don't like this guy one oh, bit. Hello, my guests have finally arrived. I will be departing with them shortly. So, I'm afraid I will be saying goodbye soon. It was a pleasure. Um, he, now, if you're a cleric, then probably don't attack these guys. But I'm not a cleric at all, and I don't like this dickhead. Uh, let's hope we survive. Oh shit! He said when we should have zagged, man. Let's just head away from everyone into a nice open space. Hopefully they'll follow me, which it looks like they are. Why do you run for son? Hmm. Not happy chappies are they? Like I said before, you don't have to fight these guys. Um, I just don't like them at all. Um, but if you do fight them, then you'll have to fight the maiden as well. Which is the only reason why I'm actually fighting them is for her soul. Oh, where'd she go? she is. Come on my lady. Oh she's got the rolls. Ain't gonna save you here. So you get two humanities from him, and you get seven from him and her ivory talisman. Now that is a bit bad, isn't it? That is really, really bad. Probably shouldn't do that, but I don't need all that kind of stuff. I'm so, yeah. Okay, well, I'm not sure if. We're going to... Actually, there's something we need to do first. Before we go fight Pinwheel, which I don't think we're actually going to do in this episode. I'm not sure if I'll have enough time. Alright, let's just head on up here first. One of the things we need to get... Oh, actually, one of the things we need to do is go back to... The Undead Asylum. Which is a bit weird for some of you, probably. Only because of the fact that we just got out of here, but we need to go back to pick up a few things. Uh, we're gonna roll off here. Head on up this way, and we're gonna have to get a key first. Pick you up. Pick you up. Gotta love that rolling. Yes, yeah, so we're going to head back to the Undead Asylum, pick up a ring and a shield. So, in order to do that, we need to get back there, and this is the way to get back. I just had to pick up that key first. We'll head on back through the crow, but we have to, like, get into a little ball and shit, so... Should be pretty good. Got you, and you don't even need that, um... Dark wood grain or wood grain ring to do that. You can just do it like a normal roll off the edge. And go onto a ball and away we go.
That's me. All right, fooled her. Now, one thing you want to watch out for too when coming down here is the fact that these suckers are a little bit tougher than normal. So we have to be pretty damn careful we don't die or anything like that. So. Oh shit, I forgot to rest. Oh, we can almost just one shot these dudes though. Sweet. Don't worry guys, there is a bonfire in here, so we should be alright. But just whatever you do, do not go into the middle of that. Go off to the side. Day, son. We head on over to the bonfire, rest up just so we are. Uh, actually, you know. Actually, I think we can level up too. Oh, I know we're a little bit short. I don't like running around with all these. Uh, are we really going to use this? There. Why not? We'll just keep it for now. Um, so we are pretty much back at the start of the game now. What we want to do to start with is come here. And we're going to go back and fight Oscar. As you can see, he's a bit of a bad dude now. for us obviously but yeah and we pick up his Chris shield which is a pretty good shield I was actually talking about this shield and we fought the moonlight uh, butterfly because it actually does 80% magic resistance which is freaking awesome so we're gonna be using that for the majority of this playthrough and we're actually going to get a ring that's on the other side and if you can see it just above my head through the bar and we're gonna go and pick that up by going back this way you can go down this is pretty much you guys all know what goes on through here anyway so nice got them both Today, son. Take out those two guys. Unlock this with the key that we got back at Filing Shrine. And I'm pretty sure. Oh, there it is there. And we have the Iron Rusted Ring. Which is something we're going to need for later on. Uh, but not right now. Uh, there is a... I'm pretty sure there's a... A knight down here, I think. Can't exactly remember if there is. I thought there was. A um, silver black knight, or I think it was. Oh fuck, there he is there, fuck! Oh! Run, 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 run! Oh, oh. Fucking son of a bitch! Motherfucker sneaked up on me. I thought he was to the right, but he was to the left. Oh, 
Oh, take that, you son of a bitch. Then we've got this Black Knight sword. Ooh, and a chunk. Interesting. Interesting. I was kind of hoping we'll get the Hellberg. What have we got? Ooh, eight points. What are the requirements? Only 20 and 18. Ooh. This is a pretty good sword. Ooh, I know it's too heavy, but it looks bloody cool. Well, probably not for us, but damn, that's a pretty... I think that might be a bit of a rare drop, to tell you the truth. Alright, good times. Might as well replenish what we've got. And that's pretty much what we need to do right now for this place. Remember guys, stay out of the middle. You don't want to fall down there right now. Bastard. Now, the next area we're going to is going to be even worse than this area, so... Take out these guys. Now this next area we're going to, we're going to be a bit of a run for us. Uh, if we have time we'll face the boss I guess. But we shall see because I've been here for a while so I think we're already at 21, 22 minutes already and I need to get down to the catacombs so we'll see. Alright we are back. What I suggest you do is, obviously don't worry about this, we're going to probably put our poise ring back on. And we need to actually head down to the bottom again. So obviously going to be a bit of a pain in the butt. Oh shit. We will... Well we can't rest up can we, so we might as well just head straight there then. We've got our poison wrong. I will try not to die, guys. If I do, oh well, tough shit. If I die, I will just end the episode there. Um, if I don't die, I'll carry on as far as I can before I do die. How does that sound? I think that sounds pretty good. We should have enough um, like magic abilities to be a bit of a force, so... We're actually going down to the catacombs to fight a boss called Pinwheel. Now, Pinwheel has a bit of lore behind him, but... I don't want to try to get too much into the lore with these, uh, this game because I can just sit here and talk about it all damn day. The lore is actually quite interesting. And we'll just try and head on straight through here. Remember, run down, past those skellies. We're going to head on down this way too. Pretty much have to try to get down here as fast as possible. Head on over to the, oh shit, the left side. There's actually... Damn, he's coming. Nice just. Phew, that was close. That was pretty much what I was actually really worried about. To tell you the complete truth. Uh, we'll throw that all onto health, because we're going to need it, I guess. I want to try and get um, Vitality to... 20 actually to just so you guys know um, I think what we're going to do is we'll probably kindle this to 10 actually yeah we might as well do that um, but first we'll press this and kindle this to 10 I reckon 10 should be more than enough I think and we also want to attune this, we'll probably take off that for now and put on some full control. 
this is probably what we're going to need. So we'll try and make our way to the boss as quick as possible, with hopefully not any, uh, not too many dramas, I guess. He's not far; he's just down here. But we have to be careful of those guys. Pretty much want to head over here. Roll down. Roll down again. And that is a um, summon sign if you need it. I'm not going to. But you need to haul ass from there real quick because you really, really don't want that to happen to you. Oh, shit. Shit. No, you asshole. That's what I was watching out for. They're coming. Oh shit, shouldn't have done that too. Haul ass. Run, 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 run. Fog door, yes. That's pretty much what I was trying to do before. Feel that was close. And then we're going to head on down to this one. Uh, nothing else I can do. Okay, we're going to go straight down. Introducing Pinwheel. Necromancer of the Catacombs. Back here, you bastard. Try to run for me. And that's pretty much it. And now we have the Rite of Kindling. Humanity and some Homeward Bone. So lovely stuff there. Beautiful. What did he drop to? And he dropped the Mask of the Mother. That's different. That's a random drop. Because I think the last time, if I remember correctly, I came down here, I had the mask of the child. Uh, don't follow those, whatever you do. Follow this way. You want to head on up here first, just before we carry on anyway. If memory serves me right. I think it was through here. Um, as you can see, you can't see anything ahead of you. But what I'm actually looking for is that. And then we want to uh, bone on the hell out of here. And because we're resting so far back, it shouldn't be too uh, bad. Alright, guys, now let's just have a quick look see at that rite of kindling. Wherever the hell it's gone. Oh, it should be in here. Alright, right, which boosts bonfires even further. So that's pretty much what we're trying to do. This is the right that allows bonfires to be bolstered further with kindling so that even more esters can be collected. Kindling was sacred right passed down among clerics, but all undead can imitate the process and in the same manner that they restore their hollowing with humanity. How peculiar that humans had found a little use for this humanity until they turned undead. A lot of lore behind that guys, a lot. Pretty much means we can kindle our bonfires to 20. I've got to do one more thing. Now we're going to level up and then probably finish it on up there guys. Um, yeah, Pinwheel has a lot of lore behind him being the fact that there are actually three of them. The mother, the daughter, and the father. Oh, the mother, the son, and the father. 
all combined in one. Bit freaky, but like I said before, there's a lot of lore. When install the Crite of Kindling from Nido himself. And upon doing this, um, pretty much turned himself into something real bad. Now we only need a thousand. Wow, we're looking for time. We're at about 30 minutes now anyway, so what I might do, guys, is just leave it there and we'll pick this on up in the next episode. Well, anyway, guys, we did do a good job in that one. We took our pinwheel, we went back to the asylum, we did a lot, we covered a lot in this episode, so hopefully you did enjoy it. And if you did, remember to smash that like button to support my channel if you're new. Feel free to subscribe because I love to hear feedback and your comments in the comments section below. I am your host, Noisy Boy. Thanks for coming on by, and as always, guys, stay noisy.